carnival time in Rio de Janeiro, there was music, dancing in the streets, and a plot to assassinate an ambassador. It was our job to stop that assassination. We had been sent to Rio by C5, a secret coalition of allied countries for whom we worked. Where the heat? Hemispheric Emergency Action Team. Acapulco Heat. Gonna make this. The strike always hits on the hour. If he's gonna take out the ambassador, he's gonna do it in 14 minutes. Arthur, we have to get a move on it, please. Would you stop moving? Consulate security is trained to look for people who don't fit in. Ashley, we're crashing a party. We're not getting married. Thank God for small favors. You know, you could do a lot worse. Only if you're wearing a clip on, darling. I didn't realize that assassinations needed a dress code. <sighs> Strikes out there somewhere. I can smell them. I was supposed to crash the ambassador's party. The other members of the team were working out of the surveillance van, checking the streets and buildings in the vicinity. We knew who the assassin was. We knew he was the best in the business. We knew when and where he was going to assassinate the ambassador. What we didn't know was how. And time was running out. Springboard is wrong, do you read me? Loud and clear is wrong. Have you fixed a location on Strake? We know we didn't get into the consulate. We're monitoring the adjacent buildings with the thermal scanner. Anything in those buildings with a temperature above 90 degrees should show up red. Hi, handsome. Catch. Sugar, spice, watch the lobby. Deep end, do you read me? In position, ready to move on your go. Unless anyone wants another of these fabulous chili dogs. Save the dogs, deep end. We have contact. He's in the building across from the consulate. It's showtime, babe. How about a kiss for luck? Arthur, we're almost there. Bosses on approach. Not again. Typical. Oops, oh, excuse me, excuse I'm so me. sorry. Excuse me. Same. Um, Sophia Aberdeen, a guest. Invitation? Bunions.
Neutralizing building security now. We have interlopers at three o'clock. Black Knight takes White King. No. You're right, of course. As usual. I hope we see you later, Ambassador. What? Bye now. <laughs> Roger that springboard moving now. Is there anything else I can do for you? Sure, we can't buy you lunch? I'm sure. Thanks, anyway. Our Rio assignment had been successfully completed. 
and we had gotten a couple of days off before returning to our team's headquarters in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We work out of a luxury hotel there, and our cover is running a designer line of swimwear called Acapulco Heat Beach Fashion. Speaking. Hey, darling, I missed you. How was Mexico City? Heaven. I spent an evening at the Philharmonic and an entire afternoon in the bathtub. And that was the high point. How about yourself? Do you catch any fish? Take a look in your mirror. I tell you all my secrets? I drove over a mountain. I drove through a river. I almost hit a cow. Now I want to know how you beat me. Obviously you forgot they closed the old Vallarta Road. I did 120 the whole way. Well, aren't you a gutsy little thing? Well, I'm kind of glad to be back at work. I kind of miss this old Aztec chamber. Ryan, darling, get your civilizations right. And I wouldn't offend Kukul Khan if I were you, unless you want to end up as his last sacrifice. Aztec, Mayan, Muslim. Ignoramus. I suggest we find out what Mr. Smith wants. I trust you enjoyed your two days of rest and recreation. We did, thanks. Although no remains were found of Mr. Strake, I have reviewed the tapes of the Rio operation, and I'm hopeful we can declare Strake eliminated. The C5 Coalition is very grateful for your results. The President of Indonesia sends you his unofficial thanks. He'd make it official, but... We don't exist, so what's up? Next week's counter-terrorist summit has been moved. Oh, great. It's been relocated to Puerto Vallarta. Oh, there goes the neighborhood. In fact, it's been relocated to your hotel. I had a whisper in the appropriate ear. Yeah, well, the next time you want to whisper in somebody's ear, you mind letting us know first? Our lies have taken two years to draft this treaty. It includes a multilateral extradition policy and a pledge by member nations to refuse terrorist demands of any kind. What does C5 want heat to do? Official security forces have all of the conventional aspects under control. But you want us to watch the back door. Precisely. And I want a minimum of collateral damage. And you'd love to come down here and do it yourself, but you just can't stand the sunshine or the bikinis. Way too skimpy this year. I'm rather fond of this year's bikini. My dear man, although you and Ashley have impressive records, 
Your methods are unorthodox. C5 need your group only because you're troubleshooters who can function without the impediments of red tape. We appreciate your concerns, Mr. Smith. Good. Now get on with your assignment. Do you irritate him on purpose? Well, it's kind of a hobby, actually. I mean, here after that Rio job, I was thinking we'd get a two-week paid vacation. You and me, little cabin up in the hills, barbecuing some fish. But you, on the other hand, kiss his... It's called diplomacy. Well, not in my neighborhood, it's not. Well, maybe if you used a little diplomacy, we would have gotten that holiday. Come on, let's get the team. This bomb requires a very unusual package. Let's hope our Mexican friend has created a worthy one. Black Knight to King's Bishop Three. Standard opening move. <laughs> the opening move belonged to Savage and Hunter Coddington Spice. But the game, however, belongs to me. Sugar. Gracias, compadre. Nearly a hundred delegates descending on the resort hotel. Add to that about 20 or 30 terrorist groups who might want to kill any one or number of them. So you're saying that we can't cover all the possibilities? We got the PLO. The Red Brigade. Action Direct. Not to mention that something might happen which has nothing to do with any of these scenarios. Do they teach you warrior like that at MI6? No, at finishing school, actually. Is that absolutely necessary? Yeah, you know, I think a lot better when I eat. It's not true. It forces all the blood in your stomach. Really? I've got it. Welcome to Summit Security Plans. All right. Any lapses in local security, we want to know about it fast. Get a move on it. Now all we have to do is find us a bad guy. Please. This is personal. I need to talk to you, Mr. Strake. Face to face. I'm afraid you'll have to content yourself with my lovely ladies, my son. Please. If this business goes wrong, they will take vengeance on my entire family. I will assassinate the Amir during the summit as agreed. What about the security? Security? Yes, security, Mr. Strake. Security is a challenge, Masood. You think this is a game? A challenge? Hmm, it's a challenge of knowing a chessboard before it knows you. But you... Enough, Masood. What we didn't know was Mr. Smith's information was wrong. Strake hadn't died in that alley in Rio. He was alive, well, and already stalking his next victim. Savage and the woman think you're dead. Spice Masood will sponsor our rematch. Now I'm going to sweep Savage and the brilliant Hunter Coddington clean off the board. Usted y su grupo, toda esa área, planta baja penthouse. Ustedes jóvenes, Al centro, planta baja, últimos pisos. Si ustedes jóvenes, quiero que me cubran toda el área derecha, planta baja y penthouse, por favor. Muy bien. Colonel Rodriguez, Pierre Rivanti, an honor. Let us shoot to meet you. Is everything in place? Yes, sir. We're bringing in two squadrons from Guadalajara, so uh, everything is under control. Good, sir. 
Very good. Thank you, sir. Joe Service. Security's doing their best, but we've already picked up a couple of lapses. Like as? No metal detector in the service entrance and total access on the air vents. All right, support. Now I want coverage on all routes into town. And if you come up with any surprises, let us know about it. All right? Sibella. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'll come back later. Come in. The local scenery is much nicer than I expected. What are you doing here without your husband? Oh, I thought I'd sneak away for a little holiday before Edward came to open the summit. Isn't that marvelous? You know, Princess Sibella. Well, frankly, we're a little bit busy right now with the show. Hello. Oh, that's probably my bodyguard. No, Othello, I will not be needing you. Yes, I am sure. That's right. All right, then. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm all yours, darling. Oh, it won't be any trouble at all, honestly. You'll hardly even know I'm here. I'll be quiet as a mouse. Sibella, I was wondering if I might have a word with you on the balcony. Of course. Who is he? Tell me everything. Mike is strictly business. I haven't seen him in years. Oh, I know I should have called. But it was also last minute, and I felt you were the only person I could turn to. Why? What's wrong? Oh, the family and the press. They're driving me insane. I can't get a moment to myself. Have you tried talking to Edward? I mean, surely he can make some adjustments. He must understand. Understand? Edward? All Edward understands is duty. I can't even see my own husband without asking a secretary. I'm sorry. Oh, Ash. I just need some place to hide. And I need to be around someone who doesn't want anything from me. Just for a couple of days. Why don't you change into something a little more casual and let's see if we can keep you incognito, okay? Okay. Ashley, I am not going to be responsible for that woman's safety. She's a menace. Her face is on the cover of every gossip magazine I'm in the world. I'm not arguing with you. But with all that's going on out there, I can't just cut her loose. And where is she supposed to stay? Right here. Let me rephrase that. Where is she supposed to sleep? Your room. In my room, which leaves only one other bed in this apartment, and that's in your room. Enjoy the couch. Three on airport security is up Monday, and I'm monitoring passport control. Attenzione, the people from the first change, please. First change. Quickly, Where is quickly. she? Ooh. Your little buddy, Princess Woe is me. She ate all my sugar crispies. Oh, that's terrible. I'll have to inform the authorities immediately. Ash? Do you mind if we get on with the rehearsal? It's not funny. She's dropped her security. Somebody's got to look after her. All I want to know is where is she? Right there. Where everybody can now stand with the ball up in the air. Can we have the ball up in the air? Wow. So that's why everybody calls her ma'am. Wonderful. That's it, Sibylla. Wonderful, Your Highness. Absolutely. You Will you get her a cover-up, please? How did I do? Wasn't I practically invisible? Hardly. Oh, it's just one more day. You won't let me stay, won't you, Michael? Now you've done it. He hates being called that. Yeah, but from her, it's not so bad. Male fantasies are so predictable. I'll tell you what, I'll give you till 7 tonight, and then we find your security guards. All right? Right. You know, I've got a wonderful idea. Perhaps I can do a promotion for you. Princess Sibella wears Acapulco Heathwear. Thanks, Sibella, but we can barely keep up with our orders as it is. Who knows what might happen if things got any more complicated, hmm? Relax, darling. We're in paradise. What could possibly go wrong?
What's going on? Someone is trying to get in through a downlink. They may have accessed the satellite. This could be a big deal. You better tell Mike and Ashley. I just spoke to Antonio, and nobody's made any illegal gun purchases in the last few days. Well, that's something. Senorita Hunter Coddington, a distinctive pleasure as always. I'm looking forward for the next show. Senor Savage, buenos dias. So how's business, Colonel? Business? <laughs> My town is crawling with politicians from a bunch of places I have never heard of. And somebody just, by the way, tells me that someone wants to kill one of them. Tourists, I can deal with. Politicians, hmm. And how do you feel about royalty? Ah, uh, useless. For anything for the most important of tasks, uh, Princess Isabella, an honor as usual. I'm looking forward to meeting your husband. Senor? Well, uh, excuse me. I have many things to do. Señorita. Señor Savage, buenos días. I'm saving the last dance for you, Michael. Last dance, huh? That's what the lady said. She's a princess, Ashley. And she likes me. Mike Savage. If you're trying to make me jealous, it's not working. All you have to do is say the word, sweetheart, and I'll be all yours. You know I don't mix business with pleasure. It doesn't look platonic to me. Oh, but it is. You know, the last time I saw you, you were in Milan. What brings you to Mexico? Alitalia. And this hotel is one of my favorites. Mm, handsome, wealthy, charming. Why hasn't some clever woman locked you up in her bedroom? Pareb, she hasn't found the key yet. Well, you know, I think it's about time Ashley settles down. I think, Princess, I like the way you think. Suddenly, everyone is starting to look suspicious. I know the feeling. We got a sneaker on the salad, Link. Can Chrissy ID the source? Uh-uh, not yet. Could be a kid pulling random punches on the internet. Well, we could have found us a bad guy. I want you to put the team on alert and meet us in the heat room immediately. My name is Marcos, and I'm at your service. Over here. Andale, rápido, rápido. So, the fishing village, Gringo Gulch, a friendly little bar with a friendly senorita. 45 Avenida del Sol, please, and I am not a tourist. Wait, let me guess, you're here for the summit. You don't look like a diplomat. That's because I'm not a diplomat. Oh, your secret service. You're undercover. Little less personality, little more driving. Por favor. I told you I'm up to here with this summit. All the flowers must be of international quality. Yeah, I can appreciate it. Sorry, no time for anything else. Manuel, I'd simply like a dozen roses. A lady friend. Gossip is the last refuge of the Boers, Manuel. All I'm asking for is 12 red roses. Please. News on the sneaker? No. A fax from Mr. Smith. 12 o'clock high. Assassination of Cardinal de la Fama revealed by the Vatican. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? He was assassinated exactly on the hour. A coincidence? He was killed by a laser-guided smart bullet. Which means Drake is alive, and five will get you ten that he's our sneaker. And a good one. Believe me, it would not have been so easy to break into my satellite link. Let's take a better look at Neil Drake, also known as the comedian. Punch him up, Chrissy. They're all Drake? Miracle plastic surgery. 
We do know that he was born in Dublin in 1954. His earliest associations were with various radical political groups. Somewhere along the line, he got greedy and went freelance. Gun for hire. He's the best. As we know, Strake executes his hits with a maximum of showmanship and a minimum of subtlety. Interpol profile tells us what we already know from Strake from Rio. He's a chess grandmaster, connoisseur of the finer things in life, French food, fine wine, Turkish cigarettes, and he likes to surround himself with beautiful women. A killer with class. He's an assassin, Tommy. 25 high-profile hits in the last 10 years. Understood. Mr. Strake is both deadly and resourceful. As of now, consider yourselves crashed out of speed. What, what about the show tomorrow for the cocktail party? Forget it. It's been on the official summer schedule for a week. Any change to the schedule, he'll get suspicious. What about the princess? Well, she's under house arrest. How exactly are you going to manage that? I'll think of a way. Until then, I want a hard watch on everything. And nobody shoots at tequila without us knowing about it. All right? Princess Sibella? Anybody home? Manuel, Arthur, I asked for red roses. I see before me blue carnations. You must have picked up the bundle for the Diego Christie. <laughs> yes, yes, you're very welcome to... Bishop takes back his pawn. Good luck, friends. Now that takes care of the pawn. Next, the princess. Welcome to Porto Vallarta. Let me extend my best wishes for a very successful summer. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Harry. This way. You will just come upstairs, Highness. Your speech is prepared. Highness, Highness, please. Your Highness. Oh man, my hat. I must have left it on the coffee table. Oh, let me get it for you, Michael. Thanks, because I hate the sun. You really are a dear to let me do the show. It's just far too dangerous. She may have the title legs, but you definitely got the class. Yes, hello, sir. 
Lulu. You know, for a moment there, I thought I lost you. Why would you go thinking that? She's a princess, and she likes me, Mike Savage. Listen, Ash, I know I'm a little bit sloppy. I know my socks don't always match. But please, don't ever suggest that I would screw up a mission because of some married broad in a tiara. Maybe sometimes I don't give you enough credit. Maybe. I'll tell you, we can either get back to work or we can go on discussing our sexual tension. What do you say? Work, please. No princess. The highlight of my career. Oh, take a breath, would you, Arthur? You could learn from her, Mary Claire. She has such grace, such posture, such je ne sais quoi. You wouldn't happen to have a spare crown, would you? Forget it. No matter how many diamonds we stick in our hair, we're still going home in a pumpkin. Uh -huh. Well, at least that pumpkin is from zero to 80 in six seconds flat. <laughs> it's showtime. Kiss for luck. It's progress. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Puerto Vallarta. Presenting for your pleasure, Acapulco Heat. Arthur planning a release on the silk? He didn't. Woo! Where is she? She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? Michael, she's been kidnapped.
when they can um, be quiet you're never going to get away with this one of the kidnappers must have been that same redhead we saw with Strake and Rio someone's trying to break into our security link they've accessed the database whoever it is is coming up on the wall try and trace it Chris dies depends entirely on how well you follow my orders. Yeah, well, we don't do business with terrorists. You're dancing with someone's life here, my friend. What do you want? I demand a release of those fundamentalists being held unjustly in Honduras. Fine. We'll pass your message along to the proper authorities. Do. Twelve hours is all the time you've got. Twelve hours. Tick. 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 Be in touch. We need more time. Wait! For what? Oh, for you to trace this call. Who do you people think you are dealing with? Oh, and I haven't forgotten Rio. Neither have we. Good. Then that makes this business between us personal, doesn't it? And I always settle my accounts. Yeah, well, we'll keep that in mind. Keep this in mind, too, my friend. You got lucky in Rio. Very lucky. But you're no match for me, either of you. Smile. Did you trace him? Damn! The Hondurans will never agree to the exchange. Caving in now will undermine the whole purpose of the summit meeting. So what's the game plan? Put in a call to Mr. Smith. What are you, nuts? Or do you just like being unemployed? Neither, but we need his help now. Do you make the call or do I? Chrissy, I don't think you want to be here for this. Strake has kidnapped the princess. And that puts C5 in a very bad position. We know. We need your help. How? Contact Interpol. We need everything you've got on Strake. Especially photographs. We have no idea what the hell he looks like. For all we know, he could be living in this building. I'll do what I can. Meanwhile, don't tell anyone Sibella's been kidnapped. However unofficial, the woman was under your protection. And they get her back safely. Our C5 might pull the plug in this whole operation. You can't be serious. Trust me, I am. Whatever happened, a goodbye. I don't know about you, but I'm in no hurry to go back to warming a desk at MI6. Yeah, well, it's a lot better than tending my dad's bar in Brooklyn. I suggest we get our act together fast. I don't believe this. Hey, you need some help? No. Absolutely, unequivocally, no. Did you get your uh, flowers okay? Thank you for your concern. Yes, I got my flowers. Okay. And no, I don't want to buy anything, nor do I need a cab ride, a tour guide, or any further assistance. Who said I was a tour guide? My dear young man, I do not want to talk to you. Beach bars are just the cover, right? Have you been reading too much James Bond, or is this just your idea of being annoying? You better watch it, man. I may surprise you one of these days. Well, we live in hope. Now, goodbye. The prince was coming here to be the chairman of the anti-terrorist summit, and I have to tell him his wife has been kidnapped by Strait. 
something about that bothered me. Strike wasn't a kidnapper. He was a first-class assassin with a very stylish M.O. And I only knew two things. Strake was here in Puerto Vallarta, and he was here to kill someone. But who, and where, and when? Welcome to Puerto Vallarta, Prince Edward. Our city is most honored by your presence. Thank you. Colonel Rodriguez. I Rodriguez, yes. Please, sir. Well, how nice to see you again, my dear. It's been almost a year, hasn't it? Actually, more like two, sir. Hmm. I hope you had a pleasant voyage. It was quite pleasant. It would have been much nicer if my wife had been able to accompany me. And where is Sibella? I was wondering if I might have a word with you. Come for me, sir. I hardly dare ask. Is something the matter with Sibella? She's been kidnapped, Your Highness. Come with me. Here's the photo C5 faxed me. Is there anything more you can come up with, Chrissy? Well, in spite of Strike's plastic surgery, there's a couple constants that never change. His skull shape, width of his eyes. <laughs> yeah, but we can't ID him off of these. Oh, yes, they can. Thanks to the wonderful world of cyberspace. I just downloaded a program from the Institute of Technology. You should be able to morph these photos. What was that? She's gonna blend the photos together and make a composite. Here we go. Okay, sweetheart. Team, I want you to go hit the streets, go downtown, on the beach, and if you see anything that even resembles this guy, vaguely, I want to know about it fast. Bring it, bitches. I'm going to be somewhere I never go. Club Disco? For a walk on the beach. into it. I'm such a pushover sometimes. Well, I can be pretty convincing when I want to, I'm afraid. We've got one thing going in our favor. What's that? We have been in the brink of disaster before and come out winners. Do you remember West Berlin? <laughs> that was a nightmare. I can still see your expression when that guy gave us a slip and crossed the border. <laughs> Good thing you remembered he had a lover in Frankfurt. Caught him two days later with his pants down red-handed. <laughs> Poor old Volkov. Guess we pulled that one out of the hat, didn't we? And we can do it again, Michael. You think so? Do you remember Frankfurt was the first place you asked me for peace for love? And what did you say? I said no. Well, that's what you always say. Come on, partner, let's go back to work.
Terrorism can only be stamped out, ladies and gentlemen, if all countries attending the conference sign this treaty. Yes. Right here, please. Getting countries to sign the treaty is one thing, Your Highness. Making sure they adhere to it is another. Just how do you intend to do that, sir? We will be working in conjunction with United Nations peacekeeping forces. The whole purpose of this summit is to ratify the treaty guaranteeing that all member nations will refuse to harbor terrorists or condone terrorism in any form whatsoever. That's all I have to say at present. Thank you very much. He's a fine man. He's a man of honor and compassion. Sounds like you know him there, Claudio. I'm proud to call him my friend. Is there anybody you don't know, Claudio? If you or your team ever need help, please don't hesitate to call me. Excuse me. Um, are those for the banquet? That's right, sir. What on earth was Manuel thinking? Any luck on Drake's location yet? Now we're working on it, but it's strictly elimination at this point. We checked every hotel in town. Passports are all in order and accounted for. How about the marina? The harbor master's records are clean. There's nobody here that's not supposed to be here. Best bet's private rentals, but it's going to be a needle in a haystack. We got to find him. What is this guy up to? That's Marcos, the cab driver I told you about. Remember the one who said he tried to help me catch the redhead? You didn't tell him why you were chasing her, did you? Of course not. I just told him that she owed me some money and I wanted to catch her. Did he buy it? No. It says he thinks we're all secret agents. Oh, wonderful. That's all we need, another guy poking around in our business. I'll take care of it. Oh, I'll take care of this clown myself. I think I better go with him, guys. Mike, wait for me. Mike, get Colonel Rodriguez and have this peeping Tom rested. I'm not a peeping Tom. What are you snooping around for? For no reason. I, uh... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just trying to figure out what you guys do. Well, Ashley here designs swimwear. No, no, not that stuff. What kind of action you're into, CIA freelance? <laughs> it's so funny. Kat said you thought we were secret agents. It sounded a little far-fetched for me. You got us pegged all wrong, pal. What you see is what you get. No more, no less. Now, why don't you be a good guy and uh, buzz off? Is any problem here? No, no problem. Signor Divanti, I, uh, was just leaving. I have to leave the hotel for a couple hours, but I'll be back before the banquet begins. Well, I don't know how we're going to get along without you, pal. You are, as you Americans say, a big kidder, aren't you? I trust that guy is about as far as you could throw him. Jealous? Extremely. Ashley, Mike. What seems to be the problem this time, Arthur? Manuel must have gone completely off his mind. Not only does he have strange people delivering flowers, he's now starting to use tacky piñatas as decorations. What's the big deal? This is Mexico. Michael, at a children's birthday party, yes. Not at a delegate's luncheon. Arthur, who delivered them? Strange-looking man and two beautiful women. Drake. Mike, there's a bomb in one of those piñatas. We gotta get past security in the banquet room. Let's go. Wait a minute. What about Manuel? I still don't see why I can't climb up the side of this hotel. I'm a cat burglar, not a mole. Yeah, yeah, and you could have him in prison for it, too, so shut up. Get in. Meow to you, too.
cat's in the cage, springboard. She's all yours. I've got her. Welcome aboard, High Dive. I'll be guiding you every step of the way. Um, whoopee, I feel safer already. Please limit your remarks to the business at hand, High Dive. Activate your camera for me. I want to put you on the big screen. Are you still with this platform? We're monitoring. Any questions, High Dive? Yeah, I'm off to see the wizard and I need directions to Oz. Just stay out of the witch's house and uh, don't bring home any rusty tin men. <laughs> so you do have a sense of humor. <laughs> I copy that, High Dive. There's a fork in the yellow brick road. Take a left and uh, keep climbing. Will do. Ow! What's wrong, High Dive? Oh, I hit my head. Oh, is my camera still functioning? That's affirmative. Where's the platform? It's wrong. They're about to enter the poppy fields. That's funny. Manual never closes this early. You realize it's called breaking and entering. No legs. It's called desperate. Don't call me legs. no difference to me. None. Ashley, come here for a minute. You smell something? Like what? Doesn't remind you of anything. Turkish cigarettes? Istanbul? Strike. Buy or lease your dream house from Ocean View Realty. Do you really think it'd be so obvious? Not a chance. When you have no leads to follow, even a potential trap could look appetizing. Why don't you see what Chrissy can come up with? Springboard, this is wrong. There's a chance that Strake is rented from Ocean View Realty. Have your computer talk to his computer. I'm on it. Oh, great. We've lost picture. Are you there, High Dive? Yeah, me and 5,000 piñatas. Is this any better? No, but no sweat. Use the bomb sweep to find out which piñata contains a sting, and I'll talk you through diffusing it. Easy for you to say. Springboard, this is High Dive. I just hit the jackpot.
Describe the sting for me. It's resting on what looks like a packing paper. It has three wires attached to it. And uh, I guess the timer. No receiver? I don't see one. What color are the wires? One black, two red. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Bad news, baby. You're gonna have to cut all three wires at once. Oh, terrific. Maybe you'd like to tell me how I'm supposed to do that when I only have two pairs of snippers, dimensionally two hands. Easy. You're gonna use your mouth. Bite the third wire? What are you, some kind of sadist? Not bite, you ding-dong. Use nail clippers. I put some in your waist pack. Let me get this straight. You want me to hold a pair of snippers in each hand while I hold a nail clipper between my teeth? That's the idea. Don't suppose you'd like me to whistle the Masai while I'm at it. That would be nice. Better yet, how about a little tap dance on the tabletops? Oh, you really are sick, you know that? How's it going, High Dive? <gasps> Speak to me, High Dive. How's it going? Whistle if you're okay. What we didn't know was that Strake's plan to assassinate the Emir was more devious than just one bomb. Is Prince still in conference? Any luck, Chrissy? Well, I checked out Ocean View Realty, and there's no new rentals under any of Strike's own aliases. That's the bad news. And the good news? I access their phone company records. I checked out all the incoming launches and phone calls during the last two weeks. And? I found calls made from the Savoy Hotel in London to Ocean View. Supposedly by Norman Sanders, but check this out. The credit card numbers match straight. And so do the initials. He would never make a mistake like that. He did. How stupid does he think we are? Chrissy, does Ocean View Realty show a rental from Norman Sanders? Let's check it out. Here it is. 51754 Avenue de Cortez. Ashley, my girl, I think we just may have found ourselves a princess. Do yourself a favor. Go back. Now.
big tip. Where's Drake? He didn't say, I swear! Mike, let's go. Come on, forget about it. The banquet, we're late. Red King takes Black Castle, but we're not a checkmate yet. Chrissy, notify the prince that we'll have his wife there before he starts his speech. Will do. Out. <laughs> I now must take a moment to mention our Forgive guest me, of honor, a man without whose determination, integrity. This is quite urgent. Please see what the prince gets. Thanks. I had no idea about you, Ash. And you still don't, right? right? Oh, where is that thing? What are you looking for? The key to my makeup compartment. Well, never mind. I better hurry up before Edward starts his speech. It is with the greatest pleasure and honor that I introduce to you our chairman, His Highness Prince Edward. We neutralized the bomb. We rescued the princess. So why do I feel like Strakus jerked our tail? You too. The whole thing was way too easy. And the mistakes he made, not like him at all. The matchbook he left behind, the long distance phone calls. He must have known we weren't stupid enough to... Oh my God. Fisher burned 1956. Fisher sacrificed his queen in order to break down his opponent's defenses. What? Strake sacrifice the princess. Mike, he's playing us. You want to give me some subtitles here, Ashley? He wanted us to get away. Lockerbie? Lockerbie, two bombs. But where? Cat checked the whole banquet room. But she didn't check Sabella. Trust me, Mike. Somehow they put that bomb in her purse. It's affirmative, Strong. I'm picking up digital movement. Could easily be a timer in her purse. It's almost we're never gonna make it. I know a short. We gotta get in there. If there's any problem here? Let's throw. It's an emergency. Let them throw, Colonel. I take full responsibility. Wait, you get past it. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished colleagues and guests. I cannot fully express my joy at this moment. As most of you are probably aware, complex negotiations, Ashley, as we have been in the last few phones? days, there is a certain later. point at which one begins to say, is it ever going to arrive at fruition? Please, come down. Everything is under control, I assure you. <laughs> you ever feel like we're getting too old for this? Never. Me too. Drive! What did you do with my purse? Well, let's put it this way. I think it's about time Edward bought you a new one. Ashley, I think you owe us a slightly better explanation than that. Kaboom. It was in her purse. I can't believe it. I'm so sorry I'm such a nuisance. Will you forgive me, darling? Yes, of course I will. 
Thanks for looking after me. What a fun spot. I'm sorry, excuse me. I think I know who hired Strike. We'll keep an eye out for him, Sarong, but it's a zoo down here. Hold it! There he goes! Drivers. They hear this big boom and forget all about their job. Now me, I'm not so crazy. Where are you going? Let me out of this cab. I'm looking for. Hey, this who you're looking for? Unlock this door. What are you doing? What is it? Leave me alone. Oh, what, what is it? Thanks again. And I knew there was a reason I didn't get those locks fixed. According to our sources, Masood had planned this coup for months and saw the summit as a perfect opportunity for getting rid of the Emir without causing any suspicion. Thanks to you, he was unsuccessful. Yeah, but Strake got away. The game's not over yet. Show him, Chrissy. Then you'd better watch your back. The good news is, the summit treaty has been ratified, so all's well that ends well. Except, of course, for about $50,000 worth of broken windows. Nobody's perfect. Speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, and by the way, about your young friend. My people have checked him out. He's been working undercover for the Mexican government. They recommend him highly. I suggest you take him on. Speak of the devil. Peeping around the hotel once too often. I told you I'm not a peeping Tom. I explained to you. And I'm telling you I'm not interested in your explanations. Now, if you don't mind, we're just going to have a word with a couple of people. Whoa. Whoa, what is this place? Welcome to the team. But if I don't want to join, then I'm going to kill you right now. He's kidding, right? Nice work, partner. You two legs. I'm gonna say this to you one more time, but don't ever call me legs. How about buns? 